Hey guys, it's Veron from Speak of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So the video today is a bit late. I was supposed to have this up yesterday as scheduled, but I ended up going on a dentist trip, which took 7 hours, and I didn't even get my turn because I had to cancel due to exhaustion. So, uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to edit the video, I wasn't able to upload it, and it's only now that I'm actually working on the video itself, so I guess... It's another late video, which isn't particularly rare around these parts. <laughs> so, I am still getting a video up though, so yay! <laughs> um, right, it's one of my drawing videos and I haven't really drawn a lot or super a lot lately. Uh, the last thing I drew was my King Arthur fan art, which was a catalyst for me trying to draw him for Fate Grand Order. In between that, I've been doing more toppy topic-centric videos, which I enjoy, sort of, personally. Um, I don't know if the people who watch me enjoy it, since I haven't been getting any feedback, but I guess I'll continue working on it. Um, if you're interested in it, the topics I've covered so far have been on sketchbooks and doing thumbnails, so if you're interested, interested in that, if I remember, I'll put it in the iCard up top. If not, just go to my channel, it's pretty new. So it should be, if you're watching this real time, it should be on the first page of the of my profile. Um, other than that, I guess that's it. So about this video, or about this drawing rather, it's actually for some reason pulled out my tube paints today, and I miss them. I've been using the pan paints for a while because I enjoyed the Sakura Koi's vibrant pigments and how. I don't know, it's it's super colorful when I use them. It has a lot of impact and vibrancy. But sometimes I feel like I have a hard time controlling that vibrancy. Like I'm pretty sure I can mix the colors somehow to make it a bit more toned down and duller. But I somehow miss the low quality feel of the Reeves watercolor. I mean they're not that bad. Uh the Reeves watercolor which is the two paints that you're seeing right now, is what I'm using, is what I used when I was in college. And they were my starter tube paints. And our prof in the painting class required us to buy tube paints and not use pan paints. The reason for that was because it, te it teaches you a couple of things like um, why on how to control your your pigments, how to mix, how to um there's, there's a lot actually. And a lot of that skill can be transferred transferred over to fan paints. But the way that I use fan paints tend to change simply by its nature of not being liquid. I might do a video on that actually. I'm no watercolor expert, so I won't say that what I know or what I learned was correct. But I feel like it there's a, there's a merit to starting with two paints. Granted, they're, they're much more intimidating. But yeah, I might talk about it in another one of those talky, topicy videos. Who knows? But I did bust them out today because of the scene that, that I had in my head somewhat. I wanted a way. I wanted my colors to be easily mixable. Um, I don't know why either. I feel like the colors of the Reeves are darker and more dull compared to the Sakura Koi's. So I feel I felt that I wanted to use that to my advantage today instead of the usual vibrant Sakura Koi's. And yeah, I mean that's why I'm using them today. Uh, yeah. Um for the piece for the actual piece itself, it's actually not fan art. It's not one of my original characters. It's just this concept that's floating in my head. I wanted to make a piece that was how do you put this? Very contained within itself somewhat? Or it's like a... Um, a, a, a look, a, a view hole, a, a view into this world that seems much larger than what you can see. But it cannot be encompassed by the frame of the piece, I guess. So, like I want... I was somewhat inspired by those Japanese or Korean or Chinese or whatever. Yeah, those Asian. I, I, usually, it's a Japanese 
and the Chinese and the Korean artists that do it, that I see them a lot doing that kind of stuff. But you know how there are these drawings that it's just this one room, it's floating in white or cream background, but it's super, super detailed. So it's a really solid room, like a bedroom or a kitchen or somewhere. And it's super detailed, and you see the character in their own space, and but it's not connected to anything. There's no other glimpse of the other rooms. It's isolated, and I sort of wanted to do something like that, but knowing my skill, I don't. I'm not quite confident with tackling that kind of thing just yet. Uh, and also, the concept that I had in my head was a bit, still a bit different than that. But I guess because I've been reading a lot of perspective books lately, and I've been practicing how to use perspective, um, I guess it's starting to bleed into my brain more. I mean, I've always had a challenge with using perspective and how to deal with perspective. So maybe finally, it's finally getting absorbed, hopefully. So this is one of my, like, tippy, <laughs> like the tiptoeing into perspective and space I guess <laughs> so yeah so the idea for this was I wanted to make a series of drawings where they're a scene that is contained within a circle so everything that you kind of want to see in that piece is part of the circle but still gives you that feeling of depth inside like you're just seeing through this lens instead of the actual entire scene um, I won't say that it's gonna be a series definitely yet, given that I wasn't able to keep up the Flora series that much last year. I won't commit myself to that yet, but I actually do like the idea, and I'll be. You'll probably see something like this a lot more often, since I kind of really wanna do it. But right now, I just want, wanted to draw this elf girl. Originally, the idea was she was maybe. You and her maybe were hiding in this cave because it was raining, that her clothes look a little bit wet. But I sort of changed that to look more like you're just in a forest at night. Maybe maybe it rained, maybe it didn't. Not really sure either. Um, yeah. I guess I need to practice a bit more on how I refine my ideas. I'll be going back to thumbnailing and sketching with that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned it already in this recording, but... Um, just kindly check out. I've been doing some more topic-centric videos lately. Uh, one was on sketchbooks, the other were on thumbnails. The advantages of it, how it can be a technique or a tool that you can use to improve your art. I, Because I discussed those lately, um, I've been trying to do them a lot more again recently, especially since I'm starting to find myself having a hard time conveying what I want to convey in my pieces. So. Who knows? I I need to remember my techniques, my own techniques. <laughs> so I wasn't really planning to put a background on this piece. I wanted it to be something I can cut out of the page actually, or maybe it's just a white background. But it felt too empty. So I made the background instead that was that wouldn't make me feel regret if I did cut it out of the of the page, so I pulled out my Prima Confections water com Watercolor Complexion set. Um, it has this color called Lemonade, so that's the pinkish layer that you see. I will add on later a gold on top from the same set, just to create a bit more wallpapery texture, I guess. So even if I do cut it out, it's okay. If I leave it within the page, it's it looks okay. And yeah. I kind of like how it turned out. The colors weren't as bad as I remembered. I guess I just got spoiled by the Sakura colors when I first got them. But if you think about it, the weaves look good. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'll be doing next, but if you liked it, please consider subscribing or liking the video. And I do traditional art, I do fan art. I do a lot of anime-centric stuff, so if you enjoyed it, you might as well follow me on Facebook and Instagram and DeviantArt, maybe even Twitter, I don't know. My Twitter is just a meh, it's silent. Anyway, um, right. 
I'm I'm screwing up my own outro. I I've done things out of order and now I don't know how to continue. Right. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.